V. Mm. Good way to start the morning. Jamie's blog. Morning into Airbnb. It is a very cold and soon to be busy day in Orlando, New York, and. Just waiting. I, mean, I got everything set up right now. It's just bored and nothing to do right now. So I thought I'd talk about something in which I know definitely it's like already a day that it's been aired, but uh, hopefully people won't get pissed off when I talk about it. And that is yesterday's final episode of Once Upon a Time. Well, technically, it is yesterday's final episode of Once Upon a Time. As said, that they did renew their show for se season seven, but a good chunk of the cast will not be coming back for that season and it's said that it's going to be talking about Regina, Hook and Gold slash Rumpelstiltskin. I wanted to talk about yesterday's episode so with this one I'm popping this up right now dearies that it is spoilers ahead. <laughs> uh, definitely the beginning part you know, they did the whole previously on Once Upon a Time, yeah, they did that, da, da, da. And then they showed a segment. They had that segment where it was the guy telling his daughter to run from the darkness that was in the woods and then to protect the book. In which I thought, okay, maybe there's something to do with this book. I'm not 100% sure. So, there is that. Definitely, um, this is what I feel. Because with that part and the ending, Honestly, they should have been taken out because I was watching the ending and seeing that little mind-blowing type twist of okay Because I'm gonna go straight to the ending as well and talk about it, but the ending to Once Upon a Time for this season uh, Definitely had me watch that and then quote two of my favorite odd characters from Doctor Who and saying well, here we go again. I shit you not, because it's basically the ending for Once Upon a Time for this season is basically doing a repeat of how it began in Season 1, Episode 1, with the reveal of many years later, with Henry being an adult, this girl comes to the door and it's, Hi, I'm your daughter. Come, we gotta save your family. And I'm like, this is basically... A repeat and it shouldn't because like they said this was the final battle for the savior for Emma and such and there was a lot on the line this was the battle for her soul about her belief in you know fairy tales about her family and stuff and a lot of things were happening and it kind of played the balance of good and evil I meant we had gold not only confronting his inner demon of Rumpel to say, no, do not save your son, let him destroy the light, let darkness take over so you can have control and all the power is yours. So you have that struggle. But at the same time, he does, Cole does something in which I thought was stupendous and he became what he was prophesied to be, a saviour in which he ended up killing his mother. In which, come to think about it as well, that guy has some parent issues big time. First his father, now his mother. <sighs> I'm afraid to see what his auntie's like, regardless. I thought the story played out quite well. And, like I said, for the beginning and the ending part, if they cut that out, just from right after the wedding scene they got cursed, to the end part of the book. Because hell, even at the end of that little story before we had the many years later, you could see when they pull out from the book, in the corner it said, they all lived happily ever after. That, I'm sorry guys, but that is the best way you could have ended that series altogether. It, it makes me wonder now with season seven, how are they gonna keep going? You know, I will go in with an open mind to see what's going on, but honestly, it's like... 
kind of pushing it a little bit, you know? And if they just end it on that note with just the book, they all lived happily ever, and then the book closes, that's it. That's the best way you could have ended the story. Everyone had, in their own little way, their happily ever after. Regina's uh, old evil half, she found her true happy ending. Selena, okay, fair enough, she sacrificed her powers. You know, she found her happy ending still. She was alive, she had Robin. She had her child, her girl. But everyone had their own happy ending. Emma had her happy ending, finding true love. And definitely, again, going back to Rumpel, a.k.a. Gold, there was a happy ending there because not only did he still have his wife, but also as well, he has his child, who is basically back to normal, in a way, because he's a fucking kid. But also as well, he's you see him in that last scene, sitting with the rest of the team that is considered as heroes. And finally he is seen to them as the hero. And honestly, that is enough of an end in there. <laughs> but like I said, I want to go into season 7 with an open mind. But honestly, it's half and half right now. Not only with the cast being chopped, but also as well, I don't know what else they can do with the story. Maybe they'll do it with adult Henry and stuff and see what happens. But again, it's just another one of those, well then here we go again. But, uh, open mind. Still, even if they ended it on season six, there's still one question I feel as though they never tied up perfectly. I kind of bring this now, and tell me guys, you know, if you have theories on this as well, but, uh, um, what is up with this guy? His name is Chief. He was credited as Chief. He is the guy that always mopped the same place in the mental hospital and stuff and even Selena said he's a bit of a talker as well but that's all we know because in the last episode for this season he was still mopping the floor what's his story I feel that is like one thing they should have tied up it's like the pineapple of how I met your mother they didn't actually say how the pineapple came in until they released a deleted scene to explain how the hell they got the pineapple and I feel as though Okay, that seemed a little bit rushed, but still, they answered. Give us a story for this guy. Come on. <laughs> yes, that's my rant. But in all, I felt like season six, even towards the end, I felt as though, yeah, they're kind of showing that they should end it. Even with the previous episode where it was a musical. Fantastic. But when you get to a musical episode, I feel as though it's coming to its end. I strongly feel like it was coming to its end. And once again, season seven, I'm going in with an open mind. I'm going to see what this is all about. But I'm not going to get all high hopes on it. I'll give it some belief, but it's it's a doddle. It's a doddle, dearies. But I wish him all the best. So, um... I've... I crashed really hard when I got in. I had a bit of food like that in when I just crashed in bed. I was... Down and for the count. Fun, right? Okay, so a little bit rested up, but again, uh, literally, I just got home, crashed like hard. So that was fun. Oh, as well as doing some little outside work. So there we are. I'm gonna call it night. It is getting quite late. I'm gonna see if I can get some sleep and hopefully not be up at 3 a.m. or wake up at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. and keep up all day and just be all. <laughs> I need to get my body sorted. So. But anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video and the discussion we had today, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spanking new day and hopefully be better than the rest. So until then, take it easy guys. Stop.